I can't stay here, Kitty. I must disappear immediately. It's the only way to stop him. But it could break his heart. What do you think the abdication will do to him? It'll be a tragedy for him and a nightmare for me. But if I can just persuade him to wait a few weeks, and a few weeks I could be very far away. But d d w where will you go? Oh, I don't know. Not America, that's for sure. Nowhere in the Empire. Europe's too close. Um, oh, God. Back to China, perhaps. Or South America. South America. Wallace, please try and calm down. Ask my mother and the Duke of York to drive over from Windsor, will you? Apologize for the lateness of the hour. from the king, signed by his own hand. And no more grave message has ever been received by a prime minister. his irrevocable decision to renounce the throne in favor of the Duke of York. An act of abdication has been drawn up and was signed by the King this morning in the presence of his three brothers. His Majesty will cease to be King tomorrow. Come. Hello. Ah, Your Majesty. Just a bit of last minute packing. Still doesn't really seem possible. Well, there it is. Look, um, before you go, we have to sort out what you're going to be called. Christ, Percy, I haven't given it a thought. Have you? The other brothers are all dukes. How do you feel about Duke of Windsor? It's fine. Yes, fine. I'll take it. What about you? What are you going to call yourself? Um, um, mother thinks George, probably. Like father, like son, eh? Where, where will you go? Uh, Austria for the next few months. The, uh, the lawyers say I can't even be in the same country as Wallace until the divorce is final. I hear they're keeping the same date for the coronation. 
Same date, different face, eh? Well, they wouldn't let anything as trifling as a change of king upset their plans, would they? Christ, look, Bertie, I'm sorry to drop you in it, but you're going to do a grand job. You know all the ropes, and you've got the love of a good woman to help you. That's all I ever wanted, you know. It's 10 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. Friday, the 11th of December, 1936. This is Windsor Castle. At long last, I am able to say a few words of my own. I have never wanted to withhold anything. But until now, it has not been constitutionally possible for me to speak to you all. A few hours ago, I discharged my last duty as king and emperor. And now, that I have been succeeded by my brother, the Duke of York. My first words must be to declare my allegiance to him. This I do with all my heart. You all know the reasons which have impelled... You must believe me when I tell you that I have found it impossible to carry the heavy burden of responsibility and to discharge my duties as king as I would wish to do without the help and support of the, of the woman, woman I love. And I want you to know that the decision I have made has been mine and mine alone. The other person most nearly concerned has tried up to the last, to persuade me to this take a different course. has been made less difficult to me by the sure knowledge that my brother will be able to take my place forthwith, and he has one matchless blessing, enjoyed by so many of you, and not bestowed on me, a happy home with his wife and children. It may be some time before I return to my native land, but I shall always follow the fortunes of the British race and empire with profound interest. I now quit public affairs, and I lay down my burden. And now, we all have a new king, I wish him and you, his people, happiness and prosperity with all my heart. God bless you all. God save the king. Did everything you could, old thing. I'm sorry. 